Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is our 31st tutorial of Power BI. In the previous class, we have covered basic feature of Power BI desktop. And in today's class, we will start how to build our report. So I have already extracted the data from Excel file. And after that, I put it data into the Power Query editor and cleansing the data. And then I created some relationship between the tables with the help of data modeling. And after that, I have put some DAX function here according to our requirement. You guys can see here in the sales table. That's last date, maximum value, and so on. And now we will learn how to build our report. So let me add the new page here. So first of all, I will take this text box and we will write our heading of the report, which is sales analysis. Let me make it bigger and I'll make it as in center. And let me bold this text size and I can also change the font size from here. Let's say times from. So now guys, I'm going to the sales table so that I can see my data and see the meaningful insights from the table. So let's say we have a lot of column here, customer name, products, country, state, and region. So firstly, I want to see the total sales. So what I'll do, I'll take this card visual here. And now I will write one DAX function here, which is sales. So I'll take new measure from here. And now I will use some DAX function. So my measure name is total sales. And our column name is sale from the sales table. And close the bracket. Now I drag and drop this sales measure into this card visual. So you guys can see our total sales is 114K. Now again go to the data set and see the meaningful insight. So I want to see the country wise sale. So what I'll do, I'll take this pie chart visual and now I'm going to the country and state table and select the country from here. And now I want to see the sales. So I will put the measure here, which is total sales. So we guys can see Countrywide sales has represented there. Let me increase the size of this visual. Now I will take one slicer from here and put it names so that we can see which person has sale in which country. So I'll drag the customer column name here. So let's say if I want to see the sales of Nancy Mittal. So I'll simply click here and we guys can see Nancy Mittal has sold 6,500 sales in USA. So in this way, we can display the sales of any person. So let me uncheck this checkbox. And let me resize this and drag and drop it here. Now I want to see the reason why sale. So what I'll do, I'll select this stack column chart. So simply click this chart and we have a region column from country and state table. So what I'll do, I'll select this region column and drag and drop here. Now we have a product table. So we want to see the product wise sale. So this time I will take this donut chart and put it here.
and I will select the product column from product table. And I will use the same DAX function, which is total sale. And click and drop here. So in this way, we can see the product wise sale, region wise sale and the country wise sale. Now go to our data set guys to see the more meaningful insight. So click on the sales table and go to our data set. So we can see we have a two dates column. So I will select one more slicer from here. And drag and drop the date column simply. Now again go to the data set guys. And we can also display the state wise sale or you can use with the slicer. So I will take one more slicer here. And simply drag and drop the state column. So if we guys we want to see the Delhi sales. So let me click on this small checkbox. And we guys can see the total sales of Delhi is 15k. And milk is sold in Delhi and as well as West and North region. So in this way you can see anything in just one click. So this is the second class of report building guys where we have created very basic report. And in our upcoming classes, we will cover up most of the visualization from here. And we will also learn some formatting part. So stay tuned with us and kindly support this channel. I hope guys you have enjoyed this video. And now you got better understanding about the concept that how we extract the data and how we make the report. So guys, please subscribe this channel and share with those who really want to learn Power BI from scratch. Thank you so much guys and please stay tuned with us for more learning. Thank you so much.